Okay, so this is on another E300 uh, Razor scooter that I've taken apart uh, to uh, to basically modify it, uh, modify a couple things, and I am going to be sanding this completely. I've already removed all the stickers. This is ready for sanding and uh, washing, and then uh, drying, and then painting. And I'm going to paint this a little bit uh, lighter color than this standard gray that comes with uh, most of these razors that are. Uh, direct from the manufacturer some of the things that I've done here is uh, uh, made provisions for the cable system from the uh, from the brake to the uh, speed control to the brake light three cables that run in, in uh, outside typically of these uh, bars they just tie wrapped and they're kind of unsightly sticking out I decided to drill a hole here to come in through here from the handlebar direct into this hole here and it'll leave at the rear of this uh, tube here and it'll enter in this area right here because this tube sits right here so it'll come out here and it'll enter there and it'll leave at the bottom here the way I think these things should be done and then it'll come in into this uh, battery uh, bo box here directly I'm gonna have to drill another hole or just use that the side one the existing side one so there are not too many holes on the box but easy peasy uh, fix or custom customization to do this the tool that I use is this uh, my Ryobi uh, drill with uh, this uh, multi-step or multi uh, with a uh, drill bit uh, this you can get at Harbor Freight a set of three I'm using the wider one in the in the uh, in the shallow steps to do this I do I did have to start the hole by punching uh, punching a little dot you know with a nail and a hammer just to get it centered perfectly to do these these uh, these holes and with this tool it goes really once you get it going on the on the first uh, step it really goes down all the way down to the um, the one half inch so these holes are one half inch in, in diameter to allow the cables the three cables that I talked about to go through these uh, fairly uh, um, not really loose but nice and nice and snug but you know with enough uh, width to allow them to travel freely so that's uh, one of the mods that I'm doing to this I would like to put some kind of suspension on, on uh, at the rear of this but that would require uh, uh, some kind of a, uh, an adapter maybe welded uh, uh, with, with the uh, extension of the tire so I'm not gonna do that uh, for this particular project I just want to get this uh, finished and, and completed so that's one of the mods the other mod that I've done is I have relocated the seat to uh, from from this point right here the, the seat comes that plate that attaches uh, uh, to the frame that has the post you know for the seat it attaches at these points right here these are the wider points right right there and then it attaches to these two at the rear here so what I did is I basically relocated this uh, plate to the back but I also, but what I also did is um, drilled. So uh, these two holes, let me see. These two holes are for the for the plate right here for the rear of the plate. So I moved these two holes right over to this bar right here. So they're in line with those. And then uh, and then I, I drilled two additional holes on the plate itself for the for the seat to. Um, to mount right here is that right yeah that's right so the seating will be moved six five, five inches to the back and it'll give us a, a little more or the rider it'll give the rider a little more headroom between the seat and the handlebar or the the, um, the steering uh, column so that's the reason for the seat otherwise it's just too close you know to the the way these things come is too close to the bar, you know, for maybe a, a teenager or a young kid that might work. But these, these are a little more serious. Uh, uh, the E300s, the E300s, they're more designed for uh, uh, 18 years in, uh, in, uh, to adult uh, uh, size uh, riders. So that's the reason why I'm doing these mods here, because one of these, this one's going to be mine, and then the other one that I showed in the other video is going to be for my, my wife. So they're going to look nice. The, the, the paint that we selected is a nice... Uh, it's a lighter, it's a lighter, more modern color, uh, gray, uh, kind of uh, green. It's a very nice color. 
and I'm going to customize also the seat with uh, additional cushion and fabric that my wife selected so that's going to be really cool so stay tuned for this uh, for these uh, video segments as I work on this and as I show you what I'm doing to these uh, e300 scooters <laughs> 